Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're on location at the park testing a single chip LiDAR. Let's get started. Here's the setup for the test. On the left, we have a NVIDIA Jetson TK1. We will power it with a 3S LiPo battery. In the middle, the breadboard holds a LiDAR on a chip. The LiDAR chip is a ST Microelectronics VL53L0X. The chip is connected to the Jetson TK1 over I2C. The Jetson TK1 is running a web server. The web server sends a web page, which displays the current range reading of the VL53L0X in millimeters via a web socket. If there is no reading from the sensor, then four dashes are sent. The sensor is read and the web page is updated three times a second. On the right of the screen is a NVIDIA Shield tablet, which is running a web browser. The web browser points to the web server, which is running on the TK1. The Jetson TK1 is acting as a wireless access point to which the Shield connects. This video is being shot at noon on a cloudless day in Southern California in November. I'm sorry about the exposure on the video. I just don't have the technical chops to show the sensor fully in the sun and still be able to show the shield display at the same time and make everything look good. Hopefully you'll still get the idea. The sun is to our right. So you can see with the sun shining directly on the sensor, it can go to about 350 millimeters or so. It's not rock solid, but it's pretty close. Let's put a this and put it a little bit in the shade.
So outdoors, it looks like you can do about 350 millimeters without doing much in the way of shielding. If you put a lens cover or a cap over the sensor itself, you can probably get quite a bit better ranging, probably in the 500 to 600 millimeter range. Thanks for watching.